How do you define when enough is enough and we need to push, put the past bus, uh, aside or behind as it relates to race? How do you, how do you, you know, think about that? Even thinking of race and thinking of, say, police relations, I think it's a twofold approach. I think on one hand, the society or community wants police to be a certain way, but at the same time, you're coming at police with aggression. So it's almost, as Martin Luther King said, hate can't drive out hate. Mm. So it's a twofold approach. Everyone needs understanding. We all need to come to terms with where we are and we need to work together. I don't know the answer on how exactly that would go, mm -hmm. um, but it can't be a one-sided approach. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Maren? It, it does. I guess the best way I can, I can think of approaching it nowadays is having conversations by assuming positive intent, but still addressing impact. I think for the most part where society has changed is that a lot of the a lot of the malice that you know we would see if you think of when you watch I'm just you know movies like Mississippi Burning right mm -hmm. like you you like a lot of that malice is gone um however that does not mean that there are not well intentioned actions that have negative impact and so when I try to have conversations, whether it's with clients or with other people who say or do things that have a negative impact on me or those around me, I focus on talking about the impact and not making assumptions about intent. Mm. Like, I'm not going to get into you meant to do that, you meant to do that, or you were, you know, you were being racist or, you know, you were being bigoted. It might not be the case, but mm. it's sometimes just making them aware, hey, here's the impact of that action, that attitude, that behavior on someone else. Now you can do that what you want, okay? Like you can, you can sit there and say, forget that, everyone's too sensitive, I'm gonna keep doing my thing. But I can at least say in my part, you're not gonna be around me and walk around ill-informed. This happened recently at work. And we were just talking about the role of diversity, equity, and inclusion in like products and services and things like that that my clients provide. And someone was pretty much doing the, when is enough enough? Like, what is the big deal on this? Like a good product is a good product, like, you know, race or whatever, like, does it matter? And it just so happened, um, I was working from home and in my, in the background, oftentimes I just have the TV on mindlessly. And it, in the background was an old King of Queens episode. And it was when um, Kevin James's character, he was with Deacon, his best friend, who was Black, and it was Halloween, a Halloween-themed episode. And the whole theme of the episode is that Deacon's son wanted to be a superhero, but there were no Black superheroes. So he was trying to find a way to, like, get his son interested in a different costume because there aren't Black superheroes. And I said, this is what I'm talking about. I was like, look at 25 years later what we can point to that we could not point to. We now have Black Panther. We now have like, you know, doing like that. When I was just like, do, have you thought about what that was like for a child? Mm -hmm. You know, I remember I wanted to be Wonder Woman. My mom was like, scantily clad white woman for Halloween, you will not be. <laughs> like, like, like that was <laughs> like, she was like, that, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what are, what are those the bangles, the bangles. Right? <laughs> no. Um, so, but but again, like those are simple little, of course, like childhood experiences that can be very defining because it makes a child feel different and feel othered. And like, why aren't there like black superheroes and things like that? I said, and that's the reason why I think it it matters. I mean, it's clearly mattered to the tunes of a billion dollars for Marvel. So like, it also matters like in the market. <laughs> To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.